everybody. Uh, my name's James Cox. I'm Division President at Mirian Technologies. Uh, just a short talk to tell you about uh, my role at Mirian, uh, what we do, and how physics A-level curriculum is relevant. Uh, my career path and how physics has played a role in that, and uh, also talk to you about why I think physics is such a great career choice. I was inspired to do A-level physics, uh, like many people, uh, by uh, an inspirational physics teacher called Mr. Gent. Just going back a bit, I went to uh, our local high school uh, in Staffordshire. I studied physics, maths and chemistry. Uh, Mr. Gent uh, inspired me to, to study physics through university. At one point, there was four of us uh, from Mr. Gent's class studying physics, nuclear physics at either Liverpool or, or Manchester, and, and that's where I ended up. In my first degree at Manchester, a uh, combination of a, of a good a good department and uh, and the Stone Roses, uh, went on to study uh, nuclear physics at Liverpool. I got a lot out of that. I mean, it's my first it's my first uh, real insight into international travel. I'd never been on an aeroplane until I was 21. We went on a trip to France to do some studies, and during the uh, the, the the physics PhD course, I travelled to the US for the first time, uh, Geneva. Uh, Finland, spent three months in Finland, spent a month in, in Poland. So I certainly uh, had a lot of, a lot of um, access to, to travel, met a lot of people, a lot of interesting and talented people, and it, was, uh, it certainly opened my eyes to a lot of things. Uh, during that course, I also learned how to present to a large group, you know, giving talks to international conferences, and that's something that I've, uh, I've needed during, during my career, certainly recently. Um, later during my career, I did a part-time MBA at Henley Business School. I transitioned from, um, from, from physics, from a scientific career to, to a business career. And I'll talk a little bit about how, how, that, how that worked and, uh, and uh, how it happened. So a bit of background into Mirian Technologies. So we're the, we're the largest provider of um, products, solutions, services, to uh, that measure, detect, monitor radiation. And it's to a very broad customer base. Uh, and that's what I love the most about it. It's, we work with a, a broad range of customers. We, for example, people who are in charge of radiation safety in nuclear facilities like nuclear power plants, uh, laboratory managers, for example, work on environmental counting of samples for the safety of the environment, uh, military customers, uh, those that are in charge of uh, the forces' safety uh, when they go into into battle, uh, homeland security, checking borders uh, for illicit material, uh, the scientific community. Uh, obviously, uh, going back to my background, we work in uh, nuclear physics research, particle physics research, working with researchers across the world, space industry, medical industry, work with doctors on diagnostics and treatment using uh, radionuclides. So it's a very broad, broad base. Uh, and you can see that those industries that I mentioned, they, they use physics, you know, they're, they're diverse. And uh, uh, the great thing for us is we have the honor and the pleasure and privilege of working with those different uh, key customers on their critical operations in the energy sector, defense, research, uh, and so on. So for me, that's the, the most enjoyable part of, uh, of my job. Um, my position as division president, um, I, I run one of the five commercial divisions at Merian. Um, I'm responsible for the performance of that division and the long-term strategy of the division. Uh, it's, it's detection and measurement uh, division for the Americas region. So my team is based in Canada and the US. Uh, so I split my time between the UK and, th and those countries. Uh, we have uh, four facilities developing and manufacturing radiation detection and measurement equipment um, to globally. We supply globally from those facilities and we also uh, work with uh, customers in Canada, North America and South America. Let's just talk a little bit about some of those applications I mentioned earlier. So the science and exploration piece. So the science industry, um, we've been involved in various different uh, space missions, including 
So the messenger probe that orbited Mercury, uh, the uh, the Cassini uh, probe that studied the uh, Saturn and and its moons would monitor the personal dosimetry of the astronauts on the International Space Station. We've been involved in the Mars Curiosity probe, measuring the radiation on the way to Mars and on the surface of Mars. Um, and also uh, the New Horizons mission to Pluto, which is the furthest uh, object that's been studied up close. Um, so in each case, it's important to measure the radiation in space uh, on the surface of these uh, of these objects and, uh, and in transit. Obviously, space being uh, un relatively unprotected from uh, from from radiation as compared with uh, with here on Earth when we have our atmosphere and magnetic field. So you know we've um, we've been we've been lucky to work with uh, you know these, these talented and uh, and interesting uh, uh, missions. To provide the equipment to 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 deliver their their objectives. Also on the on the research side, obviously from my background, I spent some time uh, studying uh, nuclear physics. I'm very lucky to be able to keep ties with that community, uh, and for, as we provide detectors and other equipment uh, for the study of the of the nucleus. Um, and also in uh, in dark matter research, uh, you use uh, germanium detectors. I'll talk a bit about those in a minute. Uh, in underground uh, laboratories, highly sensitive measurements looking for the existence of dark matter uh, to support the particle physics research. And also another example is in a new element program, the the uh, the discovery of new elements extending the uh, the periodic table to heavier elements. Uh, we provide uh, the detection equipment, um, alpha detection equipment, to support that that program. So again, um, highly diverse, highly interesting, and we're proud to be part of that. So you will have been studying the four types of radiation: alpha, beta, gamma, and neutron in your studies and their characteristics. Uh, this slide is to show you how the characteristics drive the design of different detectors uh, used for detection and measurement of, of those radiations. So on the left-hand side, it's gamma. So you know gamma is highly penetrating, it's electromagnetic radiation. And as such, often we have to surround our, our gamma detectors, our germanium detectors in this case, with a, a heavy shield, such as lead. This is to stop the penetration of background radiation getting into the detector. That's, uh, that's 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 uh, the nature of the radiation drives a certain design to stop that background radiation becoming significant and ruining the measurement. Alpha particles, as you know, have a, have a short range, uh, just a couple of centimeters in air. And here is a bank of multiple alpha detectors for measuring environmental samples. Here we hold these under vacuum. So we create a vacuum inside these detectors because the range of the alpha particle is so short, so the vacuum improves the detection efficiency for that measurement. And here is an alpha probe used for surveying the surface, looking for surface contamination on, 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 uh, on, on a material. Um, and here you have to hold that probe very, very close to the surface uh, uh, that you're measuring, again, because the range is, is, is so short in, in air. On the right-hand side is a personnel monitoring uh, system, which is at the boundary of, of a nuclear facility. Um, workers coming out of the um, controlled area of a nuclear facility will pass through this. They'll stand very, very close to these banks of beta detectors, and it will tell them whether their clothing is contaminated or not, and the appropriate action will be taken. On the bottom, these are neutron detectors. One is, a, again, a survey meter for, for looking for uh, neutron radiation in a, in a nuclear facility. The second is a, is a waste drum measurement, measuring neutrons. In both cases, they'll be looking for uh, fissile materials such as plutonium or uranium, uh, which, which, which generate neutrons uh, when, they, when they fission. Um, in this case, you'll see both, both systems have a large amount of polyethylene plastic uh, here in a sphere and here in the banks of these walls. Um, and that's to slow down the neutron because the neutron is emitted extremely fast slowed down to be to be to be uh, in the range of energy that can be measured by our detectors in this case helium three detectors so again just the physics of the radiation drives the design of the equipment i wanted to give you a short insight into that so this is a list of the roles that i've had uh, since leaving liverpool with my phd 
Um, there's a couple of points I want to make here. One is you can see that the list's quite diverse in nature. There's, there's roles in uh, in business development, in the commercial side, in the, in the management side, uh, in, and in the technical side. Um, so I think, you know, for me, the bit of advice I would give is, you know, try different things until you find something you love. Um, you know, say yes to challenges to get that breadth of uh, experience. Because um, if you find something you really love, you'll generally be, be, be a success. Uh, in my experience and the other thing I wanted to say is you know all these different roles they have a foundation in, in the physics that I've learned you know uh, business developments using the technology the fundamental technology to solve uh, challenges for customers meet challenges for customers um, you know product marketing I, you know, I ran a product management team in, uh, in in the US for four years again this is it's about converting uh, the technology the benefits of the technology into value for the for the customer again you have a foundational understanding of the technology is is very important there you know and, and, the, and, and living uh, living in the us uh, in that role and also living in finland as a postdoc researcher at the top of the list in academia again uh, working with different in different countries with different people again is, is really valuable experience and if you have the opportunity to do that uh, then you should but again come back to what i said earlier physics has given me the opportunity to really travel the world get that experience uh, get that network get to know people um, and uh, and i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the for that choice i, I totally believe that Finally, I just wanted to say, um, you know, I'm very thankful that I, I took the route that I took. Uh, I think, you know, studying studying physics has given me um, not just the academic knowledge, but it, access to working with international groups. You know, taught me how to present to large, large, large crowds. You know, large teams, uh, which is what I, I do today. Uh, it's it taught me how to write, you know, good scientific English. You know, written my written communication, I think, is has, has really benefited from from you know those technical reports, those technical uh, peer-reviewed uh, articles that that I wrote during my my physics education. Um, you know, physics is is more and more important. I think you know the innovation economy is is, is strengthening. I read that you know almost ten percent of um, of the UK economy is is physics business based. So I think there is a there is it's very very diverse. There's there's opportunities in the in the economy in business from from studying physics. And I think you know it's a good platform for different things. You know I think I've shown you that I've I've, I've had a number of different roles, and at each each one of those I've been able to use the physics education I had all that time ago, uh, taught to me by Mr. Gent. So I wish you all the best for your careers, and uh, thanks for your time. Take care.